Okay, so check this out. I'm your Uncle Seven Nine, the Spiritual Savage. Here to bring you a message this morning. It's currently 12:08 a.m. on April 1st, 2024. This is a late night savage. Um, so I hope everybody's doing well. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, select the all options to let you know when all my uploads are uploaded. You feel me? Um, let's give some thanks to the Most High for bringing us here for this message. Okay. Now I did record an. Um, I, I did do a, a, like a whole kind of. I did do a whole message. Um, I recorded something earlier. I didn't want, I'm not gonna upload it just because I just kind of feel like, um, all I would say is this, is that um, know your worth. Don't sit around and wait for somebody to, uh, to decide one day that they wanna be with you. Don't let anybody put you on the shelf like an elf on the shelf, just sitting there waiting, getting all dusty and old while they go out and, and, and fulfill their dreams. Um, you know, be with who they want to be with. You know, live their life like it's golden. And you're sitting around waiting for a motherfucker to finally say, I love you. Let's let's finally do this because they never will. They just won't. Uh, I once loved somebody very much who um, I always fit, you know, had this idea of that was the deal anyways. Somebody's a snack. Yummy. Somebody, somebody's, somebody thinks that you're yummy. But when you, you just don't, don't do that. Don't give somebody that much power. To where you are, um, true love doesn't require a plan B. Mm -hmm. You should be the only option. You know what I'm saying? Don't let anybody control how you love yourself or how you love anybody else. A lot of people will do a lot of different things. You know, I, I've come to know that, especially when um, you're special, when there's something special about you. And they don't want anybody else to have that uh, that special part of yourself, if you, especially if you're full of love and light. Mm -hmm. It's very narcissistic and ugly for somebody to sit around and um, try to control your life. To 11 on the clock. What's up, Brandy and Nippy? 300 when I look down. So I don't know. I, I feel I feel like I feel like I'm not the only person that's dealt with that. You know what I'm saying? When you, when you find out that somebody that you loved very much um, has destroyed your life to keep you in a in a, in a, in a very um, impoverished state, just so they can control what you do because they don't want anybody else to have you is is horrible. So we got snack here, okay? I just, I, I really do. I just think it's disgusting. Why can't people, you know, why, why can't people live their life and be happy? Why you're living your life being happy or, or supposed to be anyways, but I don't think happy people do shit like that to people. I think miserable, I think people, what happens what I feel like happened in my situation, okay, because I'm speaking from a personal experience here, is that somebody got with somebody who they thought was better than me. Mm -hmm. Probably had more money, came from more money, came from a family with more money. Somebody who seemed to have everything going for themselves. You know, I was the backup plan instead of the in, instead instead of the instead of the uh, the the end game. You know how you have your you know this is who I'm going to, going to be with in the end. No, that's what this person wanted me to think. You know, I was I was I was the plan B. That's not love. That's not love at all. That's somebody telling you you're 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 almost good enough, but just not. So until 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 um, 
until I get tired of who I'm with now or, or um, when you can surpass the level of the person that I'm with now, then I will be with you. And see, I didn't look at it like that. I mean, I, I you know, the, because I just figured, okay, well, if we end up together, we end up together. If we don't, we don't. But in the meantime, I'm going to pursue my, you know, live my life and be, you know, and find and find love for myself. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. But then to find out that, you know, this person was, you know, manipulating that as well, controlling it from behind the scenes, in, in, a, in a in a very big way for all these years, um, is hurtful, or was hurtful, and it doesn't hurt me anymore. But I'm more disappointed in that person. You feel me? And I don't. And, and, and there's and there's nothing that can ever, you know. There's no there's no apologies there needed. You've done what you've done. You know what I'm saying? If you feel like that's being done to you, you know I can't tell you how to. You know, because people will do whatever they want to do. When you we don't control anybody. That's when surrendering comes in. Give it to the Most High God. My nose. There we go. Give it to the Most High God. Mm -hmm. Have your ancestors deal with these motherfuckers that do that kind of shit to you. It's not endearing. It's 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 that 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 is that is that is some South Node energy to think that somebody that does that to you is they doing it because they love you. No, they're doing it because they love control. They're doing it because they need to feel better than you. You know what I'm saying? The shit people do. Continue to shine though. Continue to continue to continue to to, to fight your way through it. Or to show or, or continue to show up to the world um, you know, your true authentic self. Because this person that I'm talking about here told people the most horrible things about me. You know, and some of it, you know, to be honest with you, my life did reflect some of those narratives. But how fair is, how fair is that when that person was behind the scenes manipulating the narrative, manipulating my circumstances and situations to fit so that the narrative would fit so that nobody would want to deal with me or want me? You know what it is? I'm going to just call it what it is. Hold on, y'all. One second. What it truly, what it truly is, or was, you know, is that something? This motherfucker got married to somebody or got in a relationship. I feel like they got married to somebody, um, and and then had buyer's remorse. Okay, you really the motherfucker realized they made a mistake and got into got into one big mess to for for appearances, or because they thought somebody was better than I. And then they also thought that they were better than I too to think that I would sit around and wait for somebody. Who didn't deserve my love in the first fucking place when they made a decision to make me the plan B. Don't ever let anybody make you the plan B. You're worth more than that. Okay? If somebody that you were dealing with has gone out into this world, turned their back on you, played you shady to the left, for somebody they thought was better than you, then that's that's their choice. That doesn't mean that a person's better than you. That doesn't mean that you're not worthy of somebody else coming along and finding you and thinking that you're the treasure, or that you're the gift. Because somebody else neglected to realize that or accept that. That's not your fault. That's their that's that's something that they should deal with. Do not ever allow anybody else's choice to be with somebody else be a you know, give you the impression that you're not good enough for yourself or anybody else. Mm. -mm. And for a long time, I did feel like that, you know, but it did, it did, it did fuck with my self-esteem. It did fuck with the way that I felt about myself. But then, you know, when I went, you know, when I matured more and I had gone through the things I was going through, I realized that, well, that's not love. This person obviously doesn't love me. And if they do love me, it's a very toxic kind of love that I don't need. All right, the finest of the fine. That's what I'm talking about. The babylicious of the babes. You are delicious, talented, and cute to the boot. The triple threat. Please carry on and show the world how it's done. Come through spirit, like I said. You're the snack, okay? 
but let's talk about it. Okay, so obviously somebody out there is going through some shit like I just described. Or maybe not. We'll see. But let's see who you are. Okay. We're going to get a, a archetype card out here. Archangel Michael, please clear out the energy for this reading so I give a clear and concise message to the collective. Okay. You're an angel. You are. You're an angel. Helping those in need with no expectation of return. And you're a nature child. Mm -hmm. Friendships with animals. Communication with nature spirits. That's you. Okay? So let's see what we're talking about here. Now, you don't have to be going through the thing I just described. I just kind of feel like that obviously needed to be said. You see how the card came out. Um... That's why I've been getting that's why I got up this late. That's why that's why the most I got got me out of bed because somebody in my collective group of soul my collective soul tribe member, family member needs to needs a needs a needs a, 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 a you know some type of encouragement this morning. Yeah, I get it. You know, we need that sometimes. Especially when we're dealing with narcissistic people. When you're dealing not that this that that would definitely be considered some type of narcissistic abuse. Um you nobody needs that shit. You know, we we deal with enough in this world. Well, we do. We don't need. We don't need any. We don't. The world comes against us. We don't need to turn against ourselves. And this kind of that kind of energy I was describing will make that happen to you. And if you have somebody again, if you have somebody doing that shit to you, gatekeeping behind the scenes, gatekeeping you from people or love interests, give it to the Most High God. But in the meantime, you show up and be this delicious snack that people are going to want to take a bite out of. You feel me? <laughs> okay. Fucking scared. Get you. Stop. What are you doing? You be doing the most. This guy is crazy, y'all. All right, so let's see. Let's get some Moon Witch Oracle. I did, you know, it got, it got my attention. All right, y'all. Don't let no. I, I can't. I can't stress. I don't. I can't stress that enough. Do not let anybody tell you that you're not worth it, that, or that you're not worth it, worthy enough to be what they ask. Okay curiosity what sparks your interest so you somebody's you spark somebody's interest okay mm -hmm. you spark somebody's interest or spirit is telling you to maybe get in or, or maybe or maybe start focusing more on what interests you instead of you know um some narcissistic ex or some narcissistic well let's we're talking about narcissistic exes we're talking about somebody that you were with that wanted to gatekeep your ass okay let's get another card out here and then you know what happens <laughs> so then the person that they so this i'm just pulling from my own personal experiences to see like you know, there was a, oh yeah, that motherfucker had a problem with me. But you know what though? It's so funny because like most of the time you don't even, I mean, in my particular situation, I didn't even know this person. Okay. The person that this, the ex got with, I didn't even know the person and still don't and don't want to, you know what I'm saying? Why would I want to know that person? Okay. Uh, but that person, that person knew me and, and that person probably knows your ass too. So you could be dealing with something like that. I don't deal with the shit. I never really have. I mean, I've dealt with it, you know, on the spiritual sense and and on a 3D plane too. You know, I'm not gonna go into all the things that 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 lame ass nigga did to dictate and manipulate the shit that was going on in my life. He knows what it is, and so does karma. She don't forget an address, okay? And don't forget what the fuck you did either. But the but but see the the crazy part about it is is that I'm picking up that you probably do know this person's ex. I mean, the person's current. And they probably giving you all kind of problems because that motherfucker that they're with, that you were with, don't want to be with they ass no more, but they stuck. Probably in a marriage or some type of business or something that they got going on where the person that, the, the person now realizes that you are the true treasure and now they can't get back to you. Sucks to be them, don't it? Okay, in that order, Apple Orchard. Give me another card, please. Somebody's out there. I'm picking up on the fact somebody's curious about you. Full moon. Harvest the fruits of, the, of your hard work. Yeah, spirit is what spirit is basically telling me to tell you. There's some type of interest or something. There's something. There's something that uh, something inside of you. I'm picking up on. 
that you've been wanting to do? Maybe a project. Maybe like a project or something. Maybe there's some type of talent that you have. You've been putting it off. I mean, you, you're not putting it off, but you're not putting as much into it as, as you as you should. You're really good at something. Spirit wants you to put more work into that. Curiosity, what sparks your interest? Whatever, okay, so you could be looking, maybe, 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 maybe you're feeling a little kind of ignored is what I'm picking up. I'm seeing the eye in this picture. You've been kind of sad lately. You might have been doing a lot of crying, whether you're male or female anyways, but, you, but you're kind of sad. The eye looks sad, you know, it lonely. Confirmation. Spirit, spirit is to, spirits wanting me to communicate to whoever this resonates with. Okay, so Spirit said, grab a card. Do the black card, okay? We got some black card energy out here. Um, but what Spirit is telling me to tell you is that you could be a Cancer. Mm -hmm. You could be a Cancer. There's also mail carrier, whether you're FedEx, Amazon, DHL, UPS. Um, this could be very significant. You could have just, you could be a mail carrier or you could, um, you could have just ordered something or just got an order from like Amazon. I mean, but who does? I mean, but you could order a lot from Amazon, but I'm picking up on the fact you may be like a some type of delivery person. You could be, but you could definitely be a cancer, especially with this moon. Well, it is the moon, the moon, uh, moon, witch Oracle, but the full moon, full moon, the moon in the tarot deck is cancer energy, cancer Pisces energy. Um, but you could be a mail carrier. You could be. And maybe you feel like you're you're not you're not living to your full potential. Maybe you're not. You know what I'm saying? So you might want to start. So we are again in the age of Aquarius. This is about self-discovery. This is about uh, knowing thyself and not allowing anybody to tell you who the fuck you are or not allowing your circumstances to define who you are. Um, being in the age of Aquarius too, you're starting, we're, we're figuring out who we are, which means a, a litany of things. Um, more or less what I'm, what I'm picking up from you is that there is some type of hidden talent that you have. Maybe you maybe it's some talent like, cause I just heard showcase spirit is, is telling me to tell you that now is the time for you to explore, you know, what explore, explore your interests. Whatever it is that you're, whatever it's, I, I, I hate to say hobby because hobby is something that people do to kill time, but a hobby is something that you do in your spare time. And I just heard like knitting or crocheting. That's just an example. That could be what you do, but it's something with your hands. You make stuff or you do something with your hands. Whatever it is that you, whatever it is that you do with your hands, whatever it is that you make, You could be like an artist, but it's not like painting. It's really kind of like, I want to say crocheting. So it's something that you do that you make. Maybe you make something with your hands. You feel me? Like that to maybe t that you, that takes time. I feel like you do this, uh, whatever you do, you do it to relax or to take your mind off of stuff. But I want you to, I want you to understand like when you do that, that you connecting with the better part of yourself, your higher self through doing whatever it is that you do to, to, to as a hobby, as a hobby or something that you just do to kill time or maybe to relax, that could be what it is that you need to explore, uh, you know, to maybe turn it into some type of business idea or maybe use that to channel what it is that you really should be doing now, because you are an angel, you're an earth angel, you're, you're nature. This could have something to do with like trees. I'm hearing like, like bark or wood, like something not, I was going to say something weird like that, but something uh, like homeopathic or something could be, I don't know what it is that you make. You would know better than I would. Maybe it'll come out in the cards. Maybe I'll be able to see it in the cards, but spirit is telling me to tell you that you need to showcase that so that you can be noticed, whether that be for love, a new type of lifestyle thing. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm picking up on the fact that you that you are probably by yourself a lot. Okay? Let's use the Pope Tarot. I'm picking up on the fact that you that you that you that you whoever I'm picking up on, you 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 you're tired of spending you're okay with being alone, but it's time. Yeah, it's time. Full moon harvest. 
the fruits of your hard work. It's time that you've worked a lot. You've worked, you've worked very hard. Maybe you, that's all you do is work. You know, you play the piano. Could you play the piano? I'm picking up on that. something with your hands. You play the piano. Now the piano is something that you know how to do. Maybe you just know how to naturally do it. Maybe you took lessons when you were a kid. I'm picking up on the piano now. Yeah, see, you're, you're blocking yourself. Mm -hmm. You're at an impasse right now. Your life is at an impasse, but spirit is telling you, can't, I told you, cancer. I can't make it up. Chariot, the cancer. And you're the star. I cannot make it up. Earth angel energy, the star. You are a star. Like you're hit, like you, like you're a star. You, you, you're, you're, you're a star seed. But you're also, I can't make this shit up. A cancer, chariot energy. You could have a dog or a pet or you're like a cat. You like to roller skate? Yeah, this is your energy. These are two major arcana cards that came out for you too. You're definitely tapped. You definitely have a higher purpose here. With the angel here and the child nature card with the chariot and the star, that's a major arcana energy. You're definitely a cancer. But you are blocking. You are you are at a stalemate in life right now. Okay. With the chariot out here as well. That's about moving forward. Uh, you know, towards accomplishment. Okay. Let's get some energy out here. Let's give it a shuffle here. You could be born in the year uh, 1997. I'm, I don't know why it says a seven, but I'm looking at it. It looks like 97. So you could be born in the year 1997. Bless me. Okay. The number 17 could be significant. You definitely okay, so I'm picking up okay, so with the with the um the flapper chick here, you could be in New York, you could be like in Harlem, okay? You could be in Harlem. Um, but you could like jazz music, okay? You could play jazz music. Spirit says that's the truth, whoever you are. You need to make an investment. This is going to be um, where you come in. Again, this is this is your harvest. I'm telling you, whatever, it, you, you got to play the piano. There's something that you're doing with. It's related to jazz music. You could probably, I don't know, do you paint to jazz? I don't know. You, you, you could just be somebody very artistic, okay? But Spirit says, yes, this is the time. There's a blessing waiting for you. You just have to you just have to invest in yourself. Okay? Make that investment. I just heard the investment no one else wanted to make in you. Maybe that's the reason why you you haven't been pursuing whatever it is that your talent is, okay? I feel like when I feel like when you do this, it's going to open up a whole new uh floodgate of uh opportunities and opportunities to meet people as well again because this can be you. This is you now kind of in a sense. You could be trapped in your head about a lot of stuff. The numbers 99 could be very significant here. But nines, nines talk about being independent. Um, you could also have Virgo heavily aspected in your chart. Um, you could be in hermit mode right now. But you, but this is you right now, though. You are single, self-sufficient, independent on your own and abundant. But this person is alone. Okay? You may not be happy with that. Spirit says that's the truth. You have a new passionate beginning on the horizon for you. You're not really feeling enthusiastic, though. That's why it's in the reverse. Here we go again, the, the Queen of Cups. This is your energy, though. Cancer energy again. You're definitely a Cancer, male or female. Definitely feminine energy. You can be a male in this energy. That just means that you're very artistic and connected to um, the uh, astral realm, especially with the star out here. Okay, but you, but you're, you're, you're blocking your brand new passionate beginning here. I feel like I feel like you're you've gotten way too comfortable being alone. Like you might you might just be, you know, not that you're settling on the idea that you're gonna be alone forever, but you've gotten too comfortable. I've been there. You know, you don't want to get too comfortable. When you're too when you're too comfortable, we're not here to be comfortable. Okay. You're, this is this is the this is where we awaken. This is this is the season of awakening. So this is obviously your spiritual alarm clock. That's exactly why I'm up so late. The 44 o'clock, yeah, 33, 12, 33, okay? 
You could be, you, you are meant to ascend. You're very highly spiritually elevated. I can't, I love how this came out for you. The chariot and the star with the angel and the child of nature. You might want to go out in nature and ground yourself with the stars out here, uh, the star on the, on the screensaver as well. You're definitely a star seed. You're definitely some something, you're somebody, people probably, you probably even look like you're not from this motherfucker. You feel me? You could have big eyes. Mm -hmm. You could have big eyes. I'm seeing big eyes, especially with the eye in the card. There's something about your eyes. Some people tell you about your eyes. Okay. 25, 25 on the clock. I'm telling you. What else? There we go. I cannot make this shit up. I can't make this shit up. Listen. This is a temperance angel card. You are definitely a fucking earth angel. You are an angel. I'm very, you see the look on my face. I'm like glowing and shit. Probably because I'm connecting with a soul tribe. You know, that this, maybe we come from the same planet. I don't know. But this is some good fucking energy. You are an angel. You are a fucking angel. You're very balanced. You may be a little off balance right now, but you or, or you could have Sagittarius in you. You could be a Sagittarius or a Cancer Sagittarius energy in your chart or an Aquarius. These are this is this Aquarius energy. Oh my God, this is some good energy. Okay, I want to know why you're so sad though, because you're very sad right now. Like I, I don't know. Let's see, but you are an angel. You're an Earth angel, half part man, part woman. I mean, you could be a transgender too, and we don't judge around here. One foot on water, one foot on land. Temperance, balance, okay? You have a very healing kind of energy. I'm I, I, like, I'm seeing you right now. You're, you're a dude. This is for a dude. I'm seeing you right now like you're just, you're just kind of like sitting at home, maybe with a pet. You know what I'm saying? Like you're just in your own world. But you're lonely. Clarify the nine of swords. What happened? Now, this could be about somebody that you were with. Because if you look in this picture, now this is the five of swords, which means it talks about competition, uh, being treated unfairly, uh, losing. So maybe you lost in love. Maybe maybe you're just dealing with a past love like I was talking about. Okay. I'm trying to tell you the way I be channeling this shit, y'all. Give me, give, me give me a nine of swords. Because just, just, just for the record. I don't give a fuck about that past situation. Okay, so definitely, you know, but I, you know, the way that I communicate with 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 members of my soul tribe is off of my personal experiences. I'm telling you, I was laying in bed. I'm like, man, I gotta get up. <laughs> I ain't want to get up. <laughs> but we're here. Why are you so sad though? Why are you trapped in your head? Thank you, Holy Spirit. The Three of Pentacles. Okay, this, is, this talks about. The Pentacles do, talks about third party, like for maybe work, but it also talks about third party, especially with the Five of Swords here. Clarify the Three of Pentacles. Yeah. Somebody cheated on you. Somebody, so you caught somebody. This, this happened a long night. Listen, let me tell you. Listen, this happened a long time ago. Yep, there you go. Mm -hmm. You're still waiting on this motherfucker to come back. That spirit says that's the truth. And if you're not waiting on him to come back, this is all you expect now after this okay because the three of wands talks about expectation so this person this five of this five of swords energy maybe a gemini libra aquarius person okay put you in your head broke your heart put you in your head with this third party shit they they definitely closed out a cycle maybe you closed out the cycle or they closed out the cycle but based upon the fact that the five of swords is here that means that they dumped your ass not to say it like that, but that's the best way I can say it. So, you know, somebody possibly left you for somebody else with three of pentacles out here and closed out that cycle. I'm picking up on the fact that this was not something that this is that this was like maybe they ghosted you or just cut you off just like that. And you've been trapped in your head about it. And so now all you expect is that niggas ain't shit. OK, spirit says that's the truth. OK, that's that's what it is. That's why you're sad. OK, I get it. 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 OK, 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 OK. So what's the advice for the collective then? Mm, yeah, see, let's see what's behind that though. Yeah, you are definitely, uh, you. okay, first of all, you're not being honest with yourself. There's something that you're not being honest with yourself about. Uh, well, and I'm just going to tell you right now, um, 
being an earth angel is not all unicorn shit and cotton candy it just ain't uh this is telling me that you're dealing with some type of uh, some type of issue you could be drinking or using some type of drugs okay this is when this is when we go into uncle savage mode again Not so much drugs, but just you're you're, you're still this is toxicity. You could really be like going hard in the paint on uh, whatever it is you're doing. I'm not here to judge you. I'm just here to tell you that ain't the way to ascend. Okay, judgment. I mean, it's that's this judgment card is. You see the hand there. It's like you're just waiting. You know, you're just. I don't know what you're waiting. I don't know. Not waiting, but this is. It's like you're you're still being from what happened. You're holding on to toxicity and it's time to break. It's time to, to, to break that 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 cycle of toxicity because you're not being you're not. This is what's preventing you from from moving forward. We you know with the six of swords in the reverse here again, dealing with horrible memories from the past. Maybe there's some childhood memories that, you know, not childhood memories, but like generational curses. Maybe I don't know. There's something from the past that you need to heal with your family. OK, there we go with your mother. OK. Or maybe this is your energy, the Empress card out here. You know, you're an artist. You're in your feminine energy. Uh, maybe Spirit's telling you that you need to, because you know, you you could be you could be very much in your masculine energy with the Chariot out here. Um, I did say how to heal this. But this does talk about maybe you do have some issues with mom. Maybe you saw your mom kind of go through some, you know, something similar. Clarify the Empress. Clarify the Empress of the Ten of Cups. To the, this, this, this definitely talks about some psych. There's some something from the past, some type of toxicity. Um, a lot of times what will happen is that, you know, how we deal with people in relationships, we don't necessarily equate that. And if you're born in 97, you're a little young, you know what I'm saying? But you don't have to be. But, you know, there's some type of there's some type of uh, connection between how you dealt with the, the breakup or maybe how you were in this last relationship to your mother and how your mother. I don't know. There's some type of curse here. You would know, you know, your story. I don't, I don't you know, you know, you know your story better than I do. OK. Yeah, this is baby daddy energy. So maybe you didn't grow up with a dad or, you know, you saw your mom being mistreated by somebody who was very kind of cold or, or, or did not, not, not so much cold, but uh, didn't love properly. You feel me? Yeah, your dad, your dad was, uh, your dad, your Papa was a rolling stone, baby. Papa was a rolling stone. Okay. So maybe that, that could be, you know, you could be a female, but we're picking up feminine energy. But I saw, I'm seeing a dude though, but. I mean, whether you're a dude or, a, you know, a male or a female, you know, uh, the same way that, they, you know, like they say, females, you know, have issues with men because of the, 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 the father, how the father figure was in the house. The same goes for men. And the same goes for men, too. Not even just on a romantic level. You know, like if a man, however you see your, you know, toxic masculinity is toxic masculinity, no matter how that um, infiltrates your, your spirit, your soul or your life. No matter how that, no matter how that works for you, it's still the same shit. Toxic masculinity can go on between male friends. You know what I'm saying? Heterosexual male friends as well. But we got the hermit here. Your dad could have been a Virgo. Um, but you went into hermit mode after you you went deep into hermit mode after this last love relationship. Yeah, you've been stuck. I can't make this shit up. You got a lot of fucking major arcanas coming out here. You are definitely highly tapped in. It's time to heal. It's time to heal. Yeah, you're caught up in your head with all these different thoughts from things from you. It's it's just time. It's okay. So this is what I'm picking up because we did get the moon witch, the moon witch oracle cards out here. Okay, let's see again. You need to go. You need to get yourself grounded. You just need to ground yourself again. You've been spending way too much time in the house, is what I'm hearing. Maybe this. Uh, you could be a mail carrier. Okay, this is what you could do for your job. But you're definitely a cancer. Uh, let's see. Curiosity. What sparks your interest? Harvest. Harvest the fruits of your of your hard work. You need it, it's time for you to go out and get grounded and look who's talking. I mean, I know, right? But it's cold here. So if you're in New York, it's probably cold out there too. But go for a walk, 
you're like maybe I mean if you're a DHS or if you're a delivery driver you're, you're out all day anyways could be uh, could definitely be a delivery driver you could do like Uber Eats or some shit like that you know you could do something like that you don't have to be it's just you, you're in a delivery service industry okay You don't have any good, you don't, you, you know, what happened, what happened with you in this last person, the person that you were with, uh, really kind of took you back to something in your childhood is what I'm picking up on, especially with the seven of cups out here and in the six of cups, um, in the reverse. Yeah. It, it just, it kind of, it traumatized you. You're dealing with a lot of trauma possibly from childhood, but definitely from this last relationship, I'm picking up on the fact that you really, that you and this person, let's see, it may, may have been together for like nine years. Y'all could have been together for a while. Um, and maybe there was some type of codependency there or you, or that was just like I talked about from the very beginning you didn't have a plan B this person had a plan B okay it's time to heal from that shit yeah will of fortune spirit says that's the truth you need it's time it's time to heal from this shit and take back your power manage your own life okay creates get some sense of balance in your life it's because time to manifest it is time to manifest caught in your harvest it's time for you to focus on whatever hobby craft talent that you have and become a master at that you become a master at yourself by mastering that craft take it from me okay because like i said you know there's a lot of things that i'm very good at um and when i came on this platform i was coming on here for one particular purpose like most high god because the most high god pretty much told me to do it but through through doing this for this last year what i've realized is that not only am i one hell of a tarot card reader okay but there's also there was there's also things that I was always interested in doing that I've always had a passion for that I've started that have been me doing this and, and showcasing my talents and connecting with people, getting that energy back, getting that feedback um, and just allowing and allowing myself to walk in my purpose. OK, maybe you need to do that so you can figure out what your purpose is, because once you just start doing whatever it is you're doing, whatever it is you're good at. And that goes for anybody, not just for who this reading is for, you know, uh, figure out your, you know, f the best way to figure out your purpose is to, just to walk with purpose. You feel me? So I'm basically telling you to just like, but whoever, whoever this is for, this cancer, this highly tapped in. I mean, I'm this is good energy. You have some very good energy about yourself, dude. And I know that you're a dude because I'm saying, dude, you know what I'm saying? And I see a dude. Um, you could be, you know, you could be gay. You know, and we, we don't judge around here. OK. But. There's, there's a turn, turn your pain into purpose or pleasure or some money. You feel me? You definitely played it. You, I, I looked at these swords. You played the piano. You got to play the piano. So you played the piano. You do some. You do something very good with your hands. But you play the piano. Whoever you are, those are keys I'm seeing there. Okay. Let's see. Let's get. Let's get. Uh, let me just grab another deck here. Um, we'll get the deck that hits. You're obviously somebody that follows me or will be or, or will see this message. So if you this is your first time hearing this message is for you, please like the video and subscribe. Comment down below if this resonates. Um, so late night savage, baby. 808 on the clock. All right. And we're about to 808 talks about harvest. It does. It definitely does. Um, you got eight there, which is karma. You know, uh, and, in, and in the middle there, that's kind of like creation starting over karmic cycle karma you know what you throw out comes back You're, you can start all over again especially with the zero here april fools the fool taking a fool's taking a leap of faith taking a fool's journey starting over and creating a new cycle throwing th throw something else into that figure eight of karma instead of what what you're leaving behind okay final message for the collective I cannot make this shit up. Brand new passionate beginning. After being trapped in your head, or you're still trapped in your head. Clarify this eight of this eight of swords, please. We got judgment out here again. You have to you have to you have to allow this go go about life like this. Because this is where you are now. You're trapped in your head, okay? Based upon I, I cannot make this shit up. The devil with the with judgment, you're still connected to the past. To that failure, to the to the to the relationship. This could have, this could have been something that kind of took you out of the game. Yeah, did okay. So we're gonna put that back in there. Okay. Yeah. Again, take your time. 
the you know Queen of Wands. This is a this is a fierce. This is somebody who's beautiful, very very magical, um, very you know people can't people can't fuck with the Queen of Wands. They just can't. She's very independent. Um, again, very talented as well. But she's just a strong feminine energy. Okay. You're not working on what it is. Spirit, uh, spirits want you to stand on your business with the Queen of Pentacles. You definitely are due with feminine energy, and that's that's fine. That's what makes me think that you're an artist. But you're not. You're not working. Spirit wants you to get to work. Stand on business because you're not working. You're not working on your craft right now. Okay. Spirit wants you to do that. That's the best. One more card, please, because you have the sun energy out here again. This is your energy, and this also represents brand new passion and beginning and healing. So we need you to heal out in this bitch. Okay. One more card, please. One more card. One more card. Thank you, Holy Spirit. What is this? Okay. Don't tell anybody your moves either. Keep it to yourself. Keep it to yourself. Yep. Keep it to yourself. Put the burdens down. Okay. Close out the. Yeah. Close out this cycle. Then you got good news coming for you. Okay. That, then that'll take you out of this state of being left in the cold. I cannot make this up. Spirit says that's the truth. Again, with the Ace of Wands, brand new passionate beginning. You have a very brand new passionate beginning on the horizon for you. Once you uh, turn your your pain your pain into purpose, pleasure, or some penny, some coinage, some money. Not pennies, but you know what I'm saying, some money. But Spirit, there's a Seven of Swords out here. Spirit wants you to be very, for whatever reason. I did see the three of I did see the three of cups in the reverse that talks about to toxic friend groups. So you may have some toxicity around you, some jealous ass friends, friends see, but you have a lot of light energy around you. Your light irritates a lot of people's demons. And so when that happens, you're gonna be around people who pretend to be your friend, but they're really not your friend. You probably listen, listen. Okay. I just heard that whoever that whoever this person left you for was somebody that you knew like a friend spirit wants you to be very strategic about your moves don't overshare with people or don't, hell don't share at all you don't have to and that'll help and that'll help you you know release some of this baggage so that you're not carrying baggage okay but but move move strategically you again major arcana the, the world this talks about closing out cycles you need to drop the baggage close out some cycles you can do that by 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 taking time to get more into your craft or whatever it is that you do you know what i'm saying and then that'd be good news then tell the universe what you want communicate this is the page of wands this talks about communication tell the universe what you want you're tired of being feeling like you're left out in the cold well tell the universe that but the universe just is responding to you now that you do have a brand new passionate beginning here once you can stand on your business you feel me trust me it works it helps you know uh, you may not know what the future is going to give you, but you kind of do based upon the energy you throw out there. Does that make sense? You know, you feel me on that? And fuck the asshole that kept that that kept that that did that shit to you. You know, but it's all about learning. It's all about growing. This is you know, this could have been like a catalyst, uh, a false flame or a catalyst flame. Hopefully, you don't have a false flame and then a catalyst flame. Hopefully, you can just bypass all that and just move on with it. But if you're young, you still got time. But don't let too much time get get away from you because of what happened in the past is what I'm getting at. Okay. All right. I think that is it. Let's see, do you want another card? Let's get your moonology card. Since we're since we're talking about the moon and the stars and cancer energy. Okay. Let's give this a quick shuffle here. The end of a tough cycle approaches. Okay. You're good enough. Okay. The energy is gaining momentum, and you're you're very close to achieving achieving your goal. So you could be working on something right now. Continue to keep working on it. Okay. I hope this message helps you. I'm closing it out. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Select the all options so that you know all my uploads upload. You feel me? Good luck. I'm sending you love and light. I'm your uncle seven nine, the spiritual savage. Remember. You grow, I grow, I grow, you grow, we grow together. So I was loving light around this bitch. It's always take it easy. I love you to the moon and back. Deuces. Oops. Sad.